From my own tests and research, I find that there are essentially two ways to influence other regions on TikTok. One outside the TikTok app and one inside the TikTok app. What's up fellow creators, it's Joseph here. So changing countries and regions on TikTok, can it be done? Is it even possible? If you are say in the Netherlands or Portugal, can you effectively show your content to a US or UK based audience so that each upload influences those geographical locations? Are you able to change what international audience you influence on TikTok with just the simple change of a setting on TikTok? Those are the questions we're gonna be answering today. I spent hours and hours researching this topic, going down lots of internet rabbit trails and and even conducting a few tests and experiments of my own that I'll certainly be elaborating on in today's video. So if this video is of value to you, please consider subscribing down below as your support truly is one of the greatest motivators for me to keep outputting these videos. Today we'll be discussing three things that hopefully will answer all questions concerning influencing other countries on TikTok and growing and expanding your international fan base. Those three things are the aspects of for you, for them, and for us. And so without further ado, let's talk TikTok. Let's talk about For You, your homepage. Now, it's important to understand exactly how the For You page works because this is gonna be key in laying the ground for a discussion later on. There's a common misconception that the For You page, your home page for content on TikTok, is the exact same for everyone. What the FYP truly is, is an endless chain of videos based around your interests. What content you engage with determines the preferred content you see, just like YouTube recommendations or suggestions for you on Instagram. Its purpose, after all, is literally its namesake, For You. TikTok wants to tailor the app experience to you. Don't believe me? Take a look at these articles where they discuss the nature of TikTok's For You page. Links to these can be found in the description below. So for those of you wondering about the For You page and how the relation works between your interests and your content, this is actually what your region setting would determine on your account preferences. Now, interestingly enough, this has actually been removed from one of TikTok's recent app updates as of February, 2020. However, TikTok still gives you the ability to customize your viewing experience. If you go into your settings on your TikTok and you go to content preferences, there's actually the option to change the language of the content that you see. Now, this does not influence what country your content is shown to, rather it customizes the content that you see on the For You page. Now, it does take a while to drip in new content from other countries, but if you continually refresh your For You page, it will eventually transition content from your language to the new language of your choice. I actually had a friend of mine try this out who lives out in Lisbon, Portugal, and take a look at his For You page after he changed his language to English. A lot of it is US-based content, even though he continues to post for his primarily Portuguese audience. Let's talk about for them, and by this I mean influencing foreigners. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Can I influence other countries? The answer is yes, you can, but it's not that simple of an answer. From my research, I find that a TikTok account's influence by default is linked to the region in which the account was first created. For example, I currently help manage some large accounts for several clients of mine on TikTok, a lot of them in foreign countries. I've tried posting from those accounts on my end in the US, and not only has the audience location stayed the same, but the views have actually drastically decreased. So trying to get a buddy of yours in the US to post from an account that you created in Uganda or Egypt because you live in one of those two countries, unfortunately won't make that much of a difference. From my own tests and research, I find that there are essentially two ways to influence other regions on TikTok. One outside the TikTok app and one inside the TikTok app. I'm going to tell you a quick story and I promise that it has a point so be listening. I actually recently took a trip to Russia and I was there for about a month and during my stay there I shot a lot of content both professional and personal and I did have the chance to upload to TikTok several times during the trip. You can actually see me editing this footage in one of my videos here on my channel, how to edit TikTok videos in Premiere Pro. Now, while in Russia, I needed an international phone plan, so I chose Beeline, a Russian telecommunications service provider. They ended up removing my US SIM card, which is essentially a little security chip in my phone that my US phone service providers use to provide me service while I'm in America. Pretty much every smartphone has one. So my US SIM card was removed, and like I mentioned previously, since I was in Russia for nearly a month, I did have a couple of opportunities to post videos on TikTok. And looking at the analytics, I noticed that they reached primarily all Russian audiences. Go figure, right? 
Now, I also discovered something else that was perhaps equally as interesting. I ended up using all of the data on my phone plan about halfway through the trip, so I ended up using a relative's phone who had a US phone plan and simply paid for the international extension. When I posted videos on TikTok through his device, I continued to influence my US audiences, even while in a foreign country. I ended up doing some research and downloaded a VPN, a virtual privacy network, on that device to change locations, and that brought my content back to the Russian audience. So if you're confused, you're not tracking, you don't know what this means, don't worry about it. There's essentially two things I took away from this experience. Number one, changing your SIM card or removing it seems to give you the ability to influence other nations. Now, whether or not you have to actually be physically present in the country you want to influence, I'm not 100% certain. My apologies that I can't provide any sort of ironclad answer there. I never really tried changing my SIM card while in the US, but it did work for me in Russia. Number two, using a VPN, a virtual privacy network, also seemed to work for me as well. Now, I actually looked into this further and it seems some people have had success with this while others don't. Actually, recently while researching for this video, I spoke to someone on a consulting call who lives all the way out in Italy and he created his account using a VPN to put himself in Los Angeles, California, and he's currently influencing primarily US-based audiences. Keep in mind he did create his account while doing this, but it's testimony to the fact that it can work for some people. Not to promo any specific product here, but I'll actually leave the exact VPN that I used down in the description in case you want to check it out further. Now, maybe you're not a technical person. You don't want to be messing around with the hardware components of your phone, or you don't want to use third-party apps to influence on TikTok. And I think this is a good point for me to make a quick disclaimer. Even though a SIM card is fairly easy to remove from your smartphone, do so at your own risk. And in fact, I would encourage you only to have official service providers remove that or even mess around with those components simply because they are key to providing you service in the first place. So I wanna talk about right now a way that you can actually influence a global audience inside the app without any third-party apps. Now, if you take a look at my For You page, the content is primarily US-based and that's because I have the English language selected in my content preferences. However, for every 100, US-based videos that I see, you'll probably see one video from the Philippines, one from Germany, one from the Netherlands, maybe one from South Africa. That's because when a video reaches a certain level of virality, it's tested in other countries and starts the process of being distributed to a global audience. That's the same reason why you take a lot of the top influencers on other countries or even in the US, such as Zach King, and his videos, which often get tens and millions of views, are known by a worldwide audience. Those videos I mentioned I see on my For You page from Germany, South Africa, the Netherlands, rarely do I see one of those that has anything less than several million views. So while the threshold for the exact number of views that your video needs to be at in order to be distributed globally isn't exactly clear, we can objectively assume it's a high number. In fact, I'll prove it to you. If you take a look at the analytics on one of my TikTok accounts that has over 100,000 followers, you'll see that there's a small percentage of a South African audience. Now, here's the fun part. I've actually been able to trace that specific demographic back to two videos that were a two-part series that got a combined three plus million views. If you look at the analytics on those particular videos and you look at the audiences that were reached, you'll see that part of the demographic that was represented was South Africa. So if you're patient, the easiest way to get a video to influence other regions is to focus on getting a viral video in your country and it will eventually spread. And that's what I wanna talk about a little bit more in this third aspect of today's conversation and that is for us. I mean, dominating your region, your people. There's not a whole lot that needs to be said in this point in particular simply because I have a plethora of videos on my channel that talk about specific growth strategies and other things of that nature. However, I would strongly encourage you to optimize your content for your country in particular because that's going to help you grow easier and much, much faster. In fact, dominating your region is a better long-term strategy anyway, simply because of how easy it is to establish yourself as an authority on TikTok right now, and the population of the platform worldwide is only going to increase. Even if there's somewhat of a small TikTok population in your country in particular, just just know that now more than ever, especially during this pandemic season, it's one of the greatest opportunities for TikTok growth worldwide. If you stay consistent and make use of the current top trends in your country, you'll soon be on your way to reaching a global audience and I look forward to seeing your content on my For You page. And guys, if there's any information on this topic that I haven't discussed or maybe stuff that I mentioned, please feel free to bring it up. I'm more than happy to introduce new information or adopt a new opinion if you can show me otherwise. If you receive value from this video, it would mean an awful lot to me if you consider dropping a like down below this video and consider subscribing as well. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks for checking out this video. And as always, we'll talk next time. Take care.
Cheers.